To take a step back for a second, I assume everybody knows what WLED is, but if you do not know what WLED is, it is by far, hands down, the best LED or RGB LED controlling software that you can find. For what it is supposed to do, it does it beautifully. And nothing comes close to doing it as good. Which version of WLED download do I use for the Dig Uno? I will not just tell you, I will kind of teach as well. How does that sound? I will explain to you why you need the different versions, okay? This will be useful for a lot of people. Oh, golly! Give me a flipping heart attack. Okay, catch my breath. Whew! <laughs> Stinker. Or which version of WLED you need for which devices, okay? Let's talk about the way these connect. Okay, so this is an Uno. And the Uno normally comes with this, which is the ESP8266 version, the D1 Mini. You can really tell, the best way to tell is because it's got very few pins and it's smaller compared to the ESP32 version, which is this version. This one, if you look at this, just the edge right there, it's got a ton more pins, right? Tons of more places for things to connect. The Dig Uno comes with the, the ESP8266 like this. You could use the 8266 on the quad, but it's not probably the best option. Not even not probably. It's not the best option, but it would work. It would work. Now, these headers are connected or they're made so that they will uh, associate with the appropriate pins here. Okay. Now, uh, the ESP32 has a different pinout. When you connect an 8266 to uh, one of these boards, the output for the LEDs comes off of D4, pin D4, okay, which is the third pin up right here. So when you connect this here, it's going to be, let's see, where is it? Right there. Okay, connects to that one. On the 8266, IO4, is actually this further out pin. So the one that is on the inside that's gonna fit into those headers is actually 16. It's actually IO 16, okay? So that's a long explanation, but basically the answer to the question of which version of WLED do you need, here it comes. If you're using the 8266, which is the version that comes with the Dig Uno, then you need the 8266 version of WLED. It doesn't matter whether you're using it on one of these Dig Unos or Dig Quads or anything else. When it's the 8266, that's the version that you need. Okay. If you're using the ESP32, if you were, say, using it with like a Node MCU, there are some ESP. P32 node MCUs like this. Uh, you, if you were going to use this, you can't put this on the Dig Uno or the Dig Quad, right? It doesn't line up the pins, so it wouldn't work on one of those. But you could still use this with WLED. If you're doing that, then you would just use the regular version of WLED for the ESP32. So it will say the version, it'll say WLED, version number, and then ESP32. That's it. But if you are using an ESP32 and you're connecting it to the Dig Uno or the Dig Quad, then you need the ESP32 pin 16 version. Okay, that was a really long answer to a really simple question. <laughs> All right, so let's go to code, let's go to the versions page here, and we'll look at the versions page. If you're using a D1 Mini, whether you're using it on a Dig Uno or a Dig Quad, doesn't matter. You need the ESP8266 version. That's this guy right here. Great. If you're using an ESP32 that is not connected to a Dig Uno or a Dig Quad, then you need the regular ESP32 version. Or if you're using an ESP32 that is connected to a Dig Uno or a Dig Quad, then the version that you need is ESP32 LED pin 16. 
Are the quads available without ESPs? No, no. Although sometimes I wish they were. <laughs> Because what we've uh, what we've discovered is the point of the the greatest point of failure. Now that we've sold hundreds of these, the thing that has failed most often is this guy. So you may get one of these that is flashed with ESP32 version and not the 32 pin 16 version. So before you give up and throw things away uh, or get mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> try reflashing it. These are very simple to reflash. Try reflashing it with the pin 16 version if you're using it on an Uno or a quad. Oh, and then of course, just to throw one more little, one more little twist in there, there's also the uh, alpha multiple output version. Now, if you're using an ESP32 and you're using it on a Dig quad and you want to use the four different outputs, which in most cases you probably will, then the version that you want is actually this version. <laughs> okay, so, oh boy, this has gotten really complicated, hasn't it? So Dig Quad with an ESP32, and you want to use all four outputs with a pre-compiled binary. This is pre-compiled. If you've got the skills and the knowledge to compile it yourself, then go for that. But if you need some, if, you, if you're if you like me and you would prefer to just have somebody else do the hard stuff, <laughs> then, uh, then this is what you need, okay? If you need help or want to chat with me or others who also enjoy projects like this, you can find us on Facebook and Discord. If you like what I'm doing and you want to support me, you can use my special product links in the video description or head over to Patreon or just like and share my videos. That's easy. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, this box will take you to a playlist of some of my favorites. In addition to videos like this, I also do live streams every Sunday. This box will take you to a recording of the latest live stream. That's all for now. Adios.